this head of the midwife, and she fixed me up. But my daddy come back and he acted like he didn't accept the facts of what happened. But he got the names of the men from my mama. He found out who they was. And then we announced we was moving out that county. Yeah. Said goodbye to everybody, all his neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy went and smiled in the face of one of them crackers who had been with my mom, smiled in his face and sold him his land. We moved over with relations in Caldwell. Now, my daddy, he got us all nice and tucked in, settled in. Then he took off one day. I ain't gonna see him again. But he sneaked back, hiding up in them woods, laying to get them eight or nine men who had been with my mom. He got four of them before they got him. They tracked him, caught up with him, hung him, and set him afire. But my daddy wasn't spooked up by the white man, no, sir! And that taught me how to handle them. He went and smiled in the face of one of the crackers who had been with my mom, smiled in his face, sold in his land. All the while, he's planning how he's going to get him and what he's going to do to him. But you don't know nothing about that, young buck. <laughs> so you just back up and leave us alone. <laughs> Whichever way could lead me to a moment of peace. That's all I want. To be as easy with everything. But I wasn't born to that. I was born to a time of fire. The world ain't want no parts of me. I could see that since I was about seven. The world said it's better off without me. Hell, the world a better place because of me. I got a heart, and it beats here, and it beats just as loud as the next fella. Don't care if he's black or white, sometimes it beats louder. It beats louder, then everybody can hear it. Some people scared of that young buck. They scared to hear a nigger's heart beating. They think you ought to lay low with that heart. Make it beat quiet and go along with everything the way it is. My mama ain't burned me for nothing. So what I had to do, I had to mark my passing on the road. Just like your wife on a tree. Say, uh, boy, Willie was here. That's all I tried to do with that piano. Tried to mark my passing on the road, like my daddy done. OK, what the hell is that? <laughs> uh, this is crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Talk about somebody's daddy that ain't here. I don't even like the pair. <laughs> Pop? Was that you? Come on, man. I'm not good at charades. I don't know what rule I broke. <laughs> but y'all ghosts, y'all spirits, y'all need to go back to sleep. I just came to see this man here, OK? Now, my mama said that her wish was that I become a good husband, a good father, and a good man. I just came to see the example of what not to do. I call it shirking your responsibilities. Whatever you call it doesn't matter. Now, I can beat the odds without him. This between me and him. Close to 50 million niggas. See, you stack a one on top of another, 
they make six or seven circles around the moon. 